This is the CBS Television Network. To help carry on our important work, I want you to join the secret squadron and wear this official badge and have this secret decoder. Following each week's adventure, I'll send an important secret message and only secret squadron members who have decoders can decode them. Also, later I'll tell you the simple rules for joining the secret squadron, but you must promise to do as I do. Keep yourself healthy and mentally alert and drink Ovaltine every day. It's the official drink of the Secret Squadron. We Secret Squadron members know chocolate-flavored Ovaltine helps give us what we need for rocket power. Yes, just as a rocket adds thrust during takeoff, Ovaltine can add the kind of nourishment so important for rocket power. We drink Ovaltine hot for breakfast. Mmm, good too and cold for lunch and between meal snacks and hot again at bedtime to help keep us revved up with rocket power. Believe me, Ovaltine's got what it takes to help you be a leader in your gang. So drink instant Ovaltine every day. My name is Barrett, Assistant Sheriff, Los Angeles County. You've just seen a clever forger at work. Forgers can be men or women, young or old, tall or stout. Of all criminals, they're the most difficult to detect. Lieutenant Hollis of the forgery detail was assigned to this case. Over a hundred phony checks had been turned over to us by food markets, retail stores, and a variety of shops. Sergeant Daniels arrived with the latest bad news. Four more, Bill. Same guy. Looks like it. Far West Oil Supply. Payroll checks. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the ads. Which one is the phony? No watermark, huh? Well, who looks at a watermark? Already passed them. No, uh, four hundred and seventeen dollars worth. No set pattern. He never hits the same community twice. Every week, phony checks on legitimate business firms. More than $5,000 in the last four months, and we're still nowhere. Oh, well. Something will break soon. Sure. Me. Hi, Charlie. Oh, hello, Lieutenant. Am I too late? Oh, well, uh... I can come back tomorrow. Oh, no, no. It probably won't take very long. Sit down, Lieutenant. Thanks. How's your daughter? Feeling any better? Molly's doing fine, thank you. Well, we get all the figures? Yeah, I think everything's there. Let's see now. Well, everything appears to be in order. The holding slips, doctor bills. Well, don't look so unhappy, Lieutenant. Everybody has to pay income tax. <laughs> oh, I wasn't worrying about that, Charlie. Will I have to pay a lot? No, I don't think so. Probably about the same as last year. Hmm. Got a tough one this time, Charlie. This guy's good. Sticks only to the big companies. Almost exact duplications of the checks. Phony identification, driver's licenses. He's passed 61 so far, maybe more, and still going strong. Uh, you'll catch him sooner or later. Uh, same dependence? Yeah, the older they get, the more they cost. Check passers. When will they ever stop? Good evening, Mr. Elder. 
good evening, Miss Knox. Did Dr. Matthews come? He's still here. Good. Hello, Molly. Hello, Daddy. Dr. Matthews? Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. <clears> Hi, <throat> Molly looks fine, doesn't she? She's looking better every day. Much better. And prettier, too. When can I get up? Well, it won't be long. Well, I'll see you. Oh, I'll walk to the door with you, Doctor. Oh, good. I'll be back soon. Oh, Doctor, I got your bill this morning. I thought as long as I was going to see you anyway, I... There you are. Oh, thanks. I just can't do anything for him, Mr. Ellsworth. Oh, don't say that. You're a fine doctor. It isn't that I don't want to. We know so very little about the disease. But something can be done. The prognosis is negative, Mr. Ellsworth. It's a matter of months, maybe just weeks. No. There's a new doctor at the hospital. He has a fine reputation. Maybe if you asked him to come... We've done everything possible. We've made every test known. She spent weeks in the hospital. She's had every medication. We can't perform miracles, Mr. Ellsworth. The nurse is making her comfortable. New doctors can only become an added expense. You're spending your money needlessly. His name is Dr. Clark. Would you please ask him to come over and see Molly tomorrow? I'll talk to him. Thank you. Let's see. What sort of a day was it, huh? Well, it was a little chilly in the morning, but it warmed up nicely. Oh, and the sparrows came back on the windowsill. I put some crumbs out for them. You should have seen them. They just gobbled them up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. And I was so busy today, I had two new accounts. Big ones, too. You know, someday, your daddy might be a very rich man. Will we go to Honolulu? Oh, we sure will. I went to the travel agency today. You did? When are we going? Mm, maybe not for a month or so. Well, maybe even sooner than that. Business is so good, I can afford to hire another accountant. Golly, Honolulu. Oh, but do you think Dr. Matthews will let me go? Well, of course he will. Well, it's just what I was talking to him about. Well, Miss Knox, you'll go with us, too, won't you? It'll take me about 20 seconds to pack. Oh, we'll have a wonderful time. You'll see so many beautiful places. Maybe we can even learn the hula. Oh, fine. <laughs> a fine nurse I am. I forgot the milk. Your dinner's on the table. You better eat it while it's hot. Would you like to look at the travel folders? Oh, I'd love to. I'll get them for you. Excuse me, Miss Knox. Just a minute. Travel folders, would you take them up to her? I have some work to do. I'll be in the garage room. It's not fair. Fifteen years old. And she's dying. Dying even before she's begun to live. for most of his working life, took the same care with his forgeries as he did with his auditing. He always duplicated legitimate salary checks. He bought his bank paper from supply houses. He matched the papers as carefully as he did the exact printing and design of the original check. The check was never made out for too much or too little. They ranged between 80 and 90 dollars, the average take-home pay of a white-collar worker. Charlie sometimes spent hours practicing until the signature was a perfect duplicate. Too perfect. The forgery detail knew those checks were forgeries almost from the beginning. No man ever signs a check in exactly the same way twice.
After hours of painstaking effort, Charlie's job was only half finished. Who would accept the check, even from an important company without proper identification? What is better than a driver's license? Charlie's driver's licenses were works of perfection. Shall I warm up your dinner? No, oh, no, no, thanks. Don't bother. I'll grab a bite later. Stores are open late tonight, and I still have the marketing to do. You always pick the busiest time to go shopping. I do, don't I? Well, I guess I just must like crowds. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Wallace, with a sensational shortening discovery for better baking and frying. It's Procter & Gamble's Golden Fluffo, the first all-new shortening in 40 years. It's rich. Its color is golden yellow. And what a pie it makes. Richer looking, better tasting, more appetizing. But let's hear what Mrs. Thelma Styra, Indiana State Fair baking champion, had to say about Fluffo. I love Fluffo. It makes such a golden brown pie. Oh, man, that's some apple pie. Well, Mr. Wallace, that's a prettier pie than I ever baked with plain white shortening. And look how flaky it is. This yellow Fluffo is such a short shortening. Makes pie crust so rich. Like cooking champions, get richer looking, better tasting, more appetizing results in everything you bake or fry. Get golden Fluffo. It'll be six seventy-one. Six, six what? Uh, and seventy-one cents. Uh, I'd like to uh, cash my payroll check, can I? Oh, your identification, Mr. Uh, Stevenson? Oh, identification? Oh, yes. That's right here. You're uh, new around here, Mr. Stevenson. Hope you'll be a regular customer. Oh, a regular customer. Yes, thank you. and a bed jacket for a very lucky young lady. Now that will be 1955. We leave your check, sir, is for 86.40. That will be 66.85. He never hits the same community twice. Every week, phony checks on legitimate business firms. 11 gallons even, 334. 334? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I noticed that you cash payroll checks. Would you cash mine? Well, sure. Got identification? Oh, yes, identification. Great national. It's a big outfit. Yeah. Please. Oh, endorse it, yes. Uh, there'll be a 15 cent charge for the check cashing service. Service? Oh, oh yes, of course. That's all right. Uh, four, five, ten, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eighty five, eighty six. What? Thank you. Hurry back. The ears weren't as big as that, and closer to the head. My partner always said we shouldn't have put that sign up. Me, I'm real bright. I gotta have it my way. 
Yeah, that's better. Only, uh, this part drooped a little more. I want you to be sure. We want an exact description. How could I forget? 8640. He kept touching that ear. Never forget that face. The nose isn't right yet. It was longer. Yeah, a little thinner. How was I to know? I must have cashed at least 50 checks from guys that work at the same plant. Al told me not to cash the checks. $86.40. How does that look to you now? Yeah, that's him. Perfect. That ought to get him. 8640. You realize how many 15 cents I got to collect to make that up? 576 of them. You know something? I'm going to take that sign down. Thanks for coming in. Finished? Thanks, Miss Edwards. Did you get anything good? Who knows? Hmm. Three people have cashed his checks, and each one is positive of his description. Take a look. Well, not much to go on. Hmm. This one looks like Captain Jennings. Huh. You busy? Income tax. Oh, yeah? How'd I do? Uh, do? Oh, oh, very well, I think. This battery must be getting weak. Hey, that's pretty good, Charlie. That's wonderful. How much do I owe you? What'd you say? Oh, owe me. Oh, ten dollars. Okay. I just got a couple of bucks. Can I give you a check? Check? Oh, of course. I'll be in tomorrow with mine, Charlie. Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, well, how about uh, 11 o'clock? Fine. All right. Okay, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Right. Bye. Bye. Like Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. Describe him. Oh, you know him as well. No, as no, I describe do. him. All right. About five foot eight, heavy set, brown hair, brown eyes, light complexion. Notice the way he kept touching his ear? My old man had the same habit, especially when I asked him for money. It's rugged. Three months, and all we've got to go on is a near toucher. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the matter? These endorsements. Charlie's mm -hmm. signature here. Look. Look at that. Look at the E and the L, huh? Yeah, they do look alike. Yeah. Look. Check these upstairs to Carrington. Get me a comparison. Okay. And Pete, yeah. get a man to tail him right away. I want to know every move he makes from now on. All right. Okay, Chuck. You can take off for a while. I'm relieving you. some. Charlie has the Ames hardware store for an account. He makes all their deposits. That's where he got the checks to copy. It's funny, you still can't buy Charlie, huh? Your hunches have worked before. It's no hunch, it's adding things up. I checked all the camera stores. Charlie bought a lot of equipment. And three years ago, he spent 10 months going to night school. Photography? Printing. Say, it's time for my favorite dance team, so let's look. 
Ah, a box of matches and a pack of old gold cigarettes. That's all you need, my friend. And you're enjoying the smoothest, mildest, tastiest cigarette ever created. A treat instead of a treatment. That's old gold cigarettes. Made by tobacco men, not medicine men. To give you the cigarette that treats you better in every way. Because in every way, it's a better cigarette. Good, huh? Yes, for a treat instead of a treatment. Get a pack or get a carton of old gold cigarettes. Right now, this is Dennis James reminding you to keep smoking old gold cigarettes. I got the tickets. We're going to leave on Friday. Can you be ready? I've been ready for the past ten years. Daddy. <laughs> She's awfully weak. Tell her to rest. flies when you when you sleep. Now you just close your eyes and relax. Are you going to pack? Well, I got a few things to do first. I've got to talk to the new accountant about taking care of the business. And then I've got to go and pick up some money. Hurry, Dad. Sleep. Promise? I'll be back soon. Thank you. Would you accept a check? If it isn't, you pay. Four twenty. May I have your identification? Oh, identification? Yes, sure. There you are. Oh, hello, Lieutenant. Charlie. Hi, nice, Sergeant. Charlie. Well, they can identify me. They're, they're friends of mine from the sheriff's office. Sure, let's see the check. Well, it's, uh, it's good, isn't it, Lieutenant? It's the one you just gave me. Sure, it's good. Well, if it's your check, I'd like your identification. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll see you fellas later. Hey, okay, Charlie. You. What do you think? Did you notice? He wasn't wearing his hearing aid. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hmm? Loan me ten bucks. He endorsed that check, didn't he? Here, I'll buy it back from you. 
Lieutenant Hollis took the check just endorsed by Charlie to our handwriting expert immediately. By examining several of the phony checks turned in, together with Charlie's writing on Hollis's income tax, it was determined that the same hand had signed all the signatures. Hollis and Daniels went directly to Charlie's home. for you, Mr. Ellsworth. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. <laughs> Miss uh, Knox was my daughter's nurse, Lieutenant. Molly's gone. Sorry, Charlie. Is that why you did it? For Molly? with your children, you want them to have the best. Forgery is a very serious offense, no matter for what reason the crime is committed. Charlie Ellsworth was sentenced to one to 14 years in the state prison. I think you should know that more than $400 million of bogus checks are passed each year. Every town in the United States is affected. In the future, anything you can do to help us detect a forger will be of great service to your community. And now I'd like to introduce Eugene W. Biscalus, Sheriff of Los Angeles County. Friends, in dramatizing these cases from the Sheriff's Department on Code 3, I hope you and your families will understand more clearly some of the problems facing law enforcement agencies in this country. We hope you enjoyed Code 3, that you'll be with us again next week. Thank you very much.